preventing injuries while getting in and out of the truck cab. This video was created by the Kentucky Occupational Safety and Health Surveillance Program in partnership with Midwestern Insurance Alliance. More frequently than any other task, drivers are injured while climbing in and out of their truck cab. These injuries are often a result of falls. But in addition to falls, debilitating shoulder injuries can occur if a driver holds on to only one handhold, misses a step, and suddenly finds his shoulder absorbing the entire weight of his body under the force of gravity. Also, drivers are injured when they step down from the truck onto the ground because they did not see a hole, a rock, or debris, or did not anticipate ice below their truck step. You can prevent these things from happening to you if you look for hazards first, get your hands free, and maintain three points of contact until both feet reach their destination. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at how these principles are put into practice. As with any task, your first responsibility is to look for hazards that might increase the likelihood that you will be injured. While approaching the truck, be careful not to walk through any places that might transfer diesel or oil residue to the sole of your footwear. Also, look for slip and trip hazards on the truck steps and the ground directly below the truck steps. If there is a slip hazard on your truck steps, such as gravel, mud, or snow, or a trip hazard, such as a tarp strap, remove it before getting into the truck. If there is a slip or trip hazard below the truck steps, be aware of it and avoid it or remove it if possible. The next principle is to get your hands free. Before getting in or out of the truck, place items in a pocket or on the truck seat so that you can use both hands to hold on to the handholds. If placing items on the driver's side seat creates a hazard, place it on the passenger side floorboard before getting into the truck cab. The next principle is not just to use three points of contact, but to maintain three points of contact until both feet reach their destination. Three points of contact means that two hands and one foot, or one hand and two feet, remain in contact with the truck. The time to grab onto both handholds is before your first foot ever leaves the ground. Also, the placement of your foot is important. Place your foot firmly on the tread of the step before putting your weight on it. Many of us have the tendency to place our foot on the leading edge of the step and then roll our foot onto the step tread as we put more body weight on it. This can easily lead to slips as many truck steps have no slip resistance on the leading edge. Also, while ascending into the truck, keep your body close to the truck. If there are multiple handholds, use the ones that enable you to keep your body closest to the truck. Lastly, continue to use two handholds until both of your feet are inside the truck cab. The process is the same when exiting a truck. Before opening your truck door, look in your mirror to ensure that there are no other vehicles approaching. Then, open your door and look at the ground below for uneven surfaces, holes, rocks, boards, or other hazards, as well as for ice or other slippery surfaces. If you have anything that needs to be removed from the truck, place it in your pocket or in a place where you can retrieve it once you are on the ground. Next, in the same way that you maintain three points of contact while getting into the truck, do so while getting out of the truck. The time to grab onto both handholds is before your first foot ever steps onto the top truck step. Remember to face the truck from the start. Do not step onto the top step in a manner that requires you to turn around on the top step. Continue to face the cab and continue to firmly hold onto two handholds until both feet are on the ground. Doing this will enable your upper body strength to support you if you step on an uneven surface, an object, or ice, and prevent an injury. That's it. If you can remember to look for hazards first, get your hands free, and maintain three points of contact until both feet reach their destination, you will significantly decrease the likelihood that you will be injured. Get more resources that address this topic at truckingworkerscomp.com slash get more.